interior looks like this. It's a full tent. It has a bottom and everything. It's even got, I, I believe it even has a, uh, this is without the rain fly, this is with the rain fly. Pretty neat. Yeah, really neat. So I'm going, I believe it or not, I have tickets to a journey cover band 320 miles north of here. And I'm going with a friend of mine from Long Beach, and she and I will be staying in this. Sleeps two adults. Five foot by whatever the truck is, but it's six. Celebrating 25 years since 1990. Napier. I have seen them, I believe, at Bass Pro. I believe. So there it is. Pretty cool. Look at that. It's got a, a snap here, attachment for the rain fly. Click here for the rain fly. No CM and the privacy. Rainfly just comes down and goes into these pockets. The one pole just connects there at the top. See inside. Okay, look at this. If it leaves the rain, the rain does not come inside here. I'll put the rain flying real quick. There was that little thing there. I could set my TH-10 up there with a the little, my Thunite TH-10 with a little uh, plastic thing on it for a lamp, or there's a lamp hanger. So I put it right there, with my keys and everything on top of that. And it'd be great. This is with the rain fly. It took me a while to put it up, mainly because it's my first time. Oh, okay, my head's all the way to one side. My feet, I've got another foot of, of room down there. There's plenty of room for two people. Plenty of room. I, I will be spending many nights in this this summer. Many nights. I'm gonna take this up to the East Fork, have a little tailgate party. Some tailgate action out there. I'll make an announcement on YouTube or Facebook or both that I'm going to be up there one of these Friday nights and uh, I guess I just kick back up there. I'll let some of the old retired and some of the laid off Rangers know. Maybe they'll stop by and share a little bit of their inside of the mountain with us. I'll show you it closed up. Look at this, fully waterproof. There's no way anything can leak in. You're over the top, so the water's gonna be coming off. There's with both the no mesh and the uh, 
door itself. Now I can easily take my Hennessy hex tarp and hook one into the back, even over the top to the bumper if I have to, and then uh, bring it straight out here down at an angle to about four feet with a pole. Come off each side, have myself some chairs, sit out here on my patio, wait out the rain. Pretty neat. So again, I want to thank Napier for sending me this, and I guarantee you it's going to go to good use. Look at that, the camper shell. Without the camper shell, it's a camper shell positive without all the camper shell negatives. You can pull it off in about five, ten minutes. Throw some motorcycles on the back or all your fishing gear. It seems like this pole is a little bit long. It's a little bit of maybe when it stretches and when the fabric stretches and things. But I will get all the bugs worked out of it. Very cool. Okay, you can roll this. You can roll this up and hook it in there. You can roll them both up. That's what it is. You can roll these both up and hook it with these and have it tucked under up out of the way. <laughs> 